football jigs, flipping jigs, finesse jigs. Here's a type of jig I've yet to really figure out and have uh, any real success with, a swim jig. This is one bait I really haven't put much time into fishing and if you want to master any type of bait, there's only one thing you can do. Get on the water and fish nothing but swim jigs for the entire day. First fish of the day, there we go. All right. Pretty chunky for a little guy. Ooh. There's one. Another one in the wood. Another little guy. This little guy was pretty greedy. He actually, uh, looks like he's pretty messed up. I hooked him on this side of the mouth. Someone. I think already caught him. Pretty bad injury right there. Wonder if he'll be all right. It's been about two hours so far. I've got two fish, so I'm doing all right. Uh, right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to target areas I normally would fish with a jig, like uh, stumps and laydowns. But instead of fishing uh, the jig on the bottom going for a hunger strike, I'm uh, bumping the jig, fishing this uh, jig pretty aggressively and bumping it into uh, stumps and laydowns, trying to cause a reaction strike. There's one, good fish. First good one of the day. I think it might be a pickerel. I was adjusting my, uh, the trolling motor. It's big fish, whatever it is. I was adjusting the trolling motor. I felt the uh, thump on the, when my bait was falling. Let me see what we got here. Oh, it's big, whatever this is. Goodness. Wow. All right, this is a big fish. Oh, stay hooked. Please stay hooked. I think it's a pickerel. Oh, it's a giant bass. Oh, don't jump. Gosh. Don't jump, don't jump, no! He's still hooked. Come here, come here, girl. Ah. <laughs> Look at that fish. That's what I'm talking about right here. Let's get a quick weight on her and let her go. She's gotta be close to four pounds. Official weight. 4.30, just over four and a quarter. Oh man, feisty. And she's been caught before too. You guys can check, you can see over here. Looks like she had a small injury before. All right, we're gonna let you go. There she goes. Using this quarter ounce swim jig with a Kitech swing impact trailer. I noticed a, a lot of bluegills swimming around in the shallows. So uh, I decided to go with this uh, green pumpkin type color to imitate that. I actually caught that last fish uh, fishing a shallow flat instead of a uh, instead of laydowns. Uh, There's uh, just a shallow grassy area. I noticed uh, a couple bass cruising around, so I put a little bit of time into fishing it. Let's see if I can get any more. That's true. That's true. Yeah, that's a good point. There's one. All right. Oh my gosh. Dude, that is a gigantic yellow perch on the swim jig. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Man, I was not expecting to catch uh, this guy way out here. That was a jumbo yellow perch. Still using a uh, bluegill pattern swim jig, but I uh, increased the size to a 3 8 ounce instead of a quarter ounce. Because I'm out here fishing uh, an offshore hump 
It uh, comes up from 30 feet. I'm sitting in about uh, 10 feet right now. And what I'm doing is I'm uh, just casting the bait as far as I can. And I'm working it up that hump, really in slow and steady, just taking the top of the grass. And something I like to do whenever I'm trying to uh, learn more about a bait or fishing a new bait, is I like to uh, fish it in a variety of ways. You know, mix up the retrieve, fish it shallow, fish it deep, fish it around uh, rocks, vegetation, wood, whatever. Uh, this way of doing that will let you experiment with the bait and see uh, what conditions it shines best under. And so far the swim jig is working, up, working out really well shallow and caught one fish deep. We'll see if uh, any more fish come out. Unfortunately, I ran out of time to fish, but I did learn some uh, new things about the swim jig. The swim jig is basically a silent version of a spinner bait or chatter bait. It has no blades and it doesn't really put off a lot of vibration. Instead, its only action comes from its pulsating skirt and uh, whatever type of trailer you decide to attach to it. Due to its subtle action, I feel like the swim jig is best suited for clear to lightly stained water. And since it's equipped with a weed guard and it doesn't have any additional wires or blades, the swim jig comes through all types of cover surprisingly well. Lastly, when you're deciding what type of gear to use with this bait, consider the clarity of the water, the type of structure or cover you'll be fishing, the gauge of the hook, and the thickness of the weed guard. If you're fishing ultra clear water, you'll probably want to go with fluorocarbon line for its invisibility. If you're fishing around heavy grass, then you uh, might want to consider braided line for its ability to cut through it. And say you're fishing a bait with uh, a thick gauge hook like this and a heavy weed guard, you might want to use a stouter, longer rod to get uh, more hook setting power. Oh, and by the way, there are still a ton of baits I've yet to learn. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below and let me know which bait you'd like to see me spend an entire day on next, trying to learn the ins and outs of it, and seeing if I can catch a few decent fish along the way.